Hi guys, Dane here, and welcome to my July BookTuber shoutouts. I'm so far in advance of doing this one, it's actually June the 1st. But hey ho, these are some of the channels that I recommend you should check out. So the very first one, we have Marianne Moronsky. So she's a relatively new BookTuber, but she's been a member of the community for a while. She's always been a big sort of supporter of mine, really, and uh, of people like Charlie Heathcote. You see her commenting a lot on people's videos, and um, I've had a good few chats with her as well, and uh, follow her on social media and stuff. And um, she's finally started her booktube channel. She's been thinking about it for a while and has finally got the courage to uh, to go ahead and do it. She posted a booktube newbie tag and some uh, a video on like books from booktubers that you should check out and stuff. And just because she's a new member of the community, definitely go through and give her a, give her a little subscribe. Then we have every, we have everyone who reads it must converse. And um, indeed, I have been conversing with them on quite a few of their review videos because there's a bit of an overlap. So. Quite often they either review a book that I want to read or um, one that I've already read. Um, so it's good to sort of chat with them and share thoughts and books and stuff. And um, yeah, they've been, you know, courteous enough to, to return the favour. But um, yeah, basically if you like my taste in books, you're probably going to like their taste in books as well. Alright, then we have Spinelli Spe Speaks and I'm basically giving her a shout out for two reasons here. One, because uh, one of the ways that I kind of collect channels to talk about on this list is by looking at who recently commented, and she recently commented on one of my videos. But two, because she dis did a, a small booktuber tag video of, a, of, a, of her own recently in which she did a bunch of shout outs, and um, it's probably one of my favorite recent shout out videos just because I found some great channels to it. So um, yeah, definitely check her out. Then we have Bookham Jenna. I think I've shouted out Jenna before, but um, I wanted to give her another shout out because she's recently switched to doing like a lot of live streams. And I think it's actually quite a cool way of doing it. So she'll do things like reviews and tags, but she'll do them live. And I don't really see too many people doing that. People more tend to use live streams for like live shows and other stuff. Um, but I think it gives an extra edge, you know, to be, to be able to watch it live as she's doing it. And then, you know, I'll watch it back and it's just like watching any unedited review video or something like that. So um, yeah, big up to Jenna. I think it's a really cool format. Then we have Nikki at I Read Past My Bedtime. I wanted to give her another shout out because of her author spotlight series. So if you're looking for new indie authors to check out, hers is a great channel to look at because you can kind of get a feel for who these authors are by looking at the interviews they give. They, they, you know, they'll be able to sell their books themselves. And um, it just, for me, I found a, a number of uh, new indie authors and uh, booktubers here and there as well. Well, author tubers to uh, check out. Then we have The Babbling Book, mostly shouting out here because of the awesome channel name, to be honest. Recently I was on her channel because she did a book review uh, of a book called Adventures of a Vegan Vamp, which I'm vegan, always have to throw that in whenever I can. But also when I was a kid I used to read this series called the, the Count Alucard series, which were about a vegetarian vampire. And uh, I, I don't know, I just have fond memories of those. So it was cool to see somebody else take that concept and run with it and for more vegan vampire stories. In fact, um, the vampire in my current work in progress, which is called Monsters of Rock, about a sort of Lord of the Rings meets Spinal Tap, basically. And uh, he's a vegan, so he uh, drinks ve uh, he drinks Linda McCartney blood, not her actual blood. <laughs> All right, then we've got Jason's Weird Reads, just a firm, long-time favourite of mine. He reads a lot of horror, a lot of indie. He's a Canadian gentle dad. That's basically the best way to describe his channel. Does a lot of tags as well, actually, and is very active in the community too, participating in sort of readathons and doing shout outs and stuff like that. So uh, overall, just if you've, if you've not already checked out Jason, just go over there now. Then we have, book then we have Books R Us, who is a Filipino booktuber, so great one if you're looking for uh, more diversity. She's recently been reading everything from like Marquez to um, uh, Gods of Gotham, we have it. Uh, we also were chatting because she read Inferno by Dan Brown and I read that uh, not too long ago myself. It's interesting though because I, th I thought Inferno was really good but then it kind of ends on this like sort of really important event that then the next book just kind of glosses over where it, it should change the world. Uh, she even said in her review, she said, in the time of this COVID-19 pandemic, I've reread Dan Brown's Inferno only because it tackles, talks about a man-made virus. And um, in the same way that COVID-19 has totally changed our world, this virus in Inferno should have totally changed the world, and it just didn't. Like, the next book, everyone's just normal. Did anyone else notice that? It's really weird. Anyway, check out Books R Us, great YouTuber. Then we have Louise Hill, whose videos I haven't seen for a while. I'm not sure if they've not been popping up in my subscription feed, so uh, when, I edit, when I edit this down, I'll definitely be going back through to her channel. I won't be hitting the uh, bell icon, just because I don't do that for anyone, because it's so hard just to keep on tr track of... Uh, notifications in the first place but yeah uh, I got into Louise's channel not long after she first started it she's um, 
just a really nice kind of calm, gentle presence, uh, very chilled out videos, and she's very well spoken as well, so um, yeah, great channel, um, uh, I've missed watching, so I don't know why I haven't been seeing her videos as much, but you should watch more of her videos, you should check out her channel and I'll be watching more of her videos myself. And then finally we have Charlie, finally we have Charlie Heathcote, and uh, I thought I'd give Charlie a shout out because he's currently beating me on Duolingo, so he's learning Italian. I'm learning French and we're kind of sort of informally battling against each other. It's not really a battle because Charlie's winning and uh, hopefully we'll see some Italian book reviews on this channel soon. But uh, I think he's been documenting bits of his progress here and there and you know with Charlie what I really enjoy is his wool gathering videos. He's been doing them mostly from home recently and I kind of miss being in his car but I think he's going back to work soon because um, he works at a charity shop and they're set to reopen soon so uh, yeah hopefully we'll be back in the car soon and he can continue raging about people and their inability to drive those are 10 booktube channels i recommend that you check out as always don't forget to let me know in the comments which channels you've been enjoying recently hit the like button if you've enjoyed this video hit subscribe for more and i will see you soon for another bookish video thanks a lot Bye bye